62 years after the Freedom Charter was adopted in Clip Town to ensure equality, dignity and freedom for all South Africans, the historic township resembles a filthy slum. The Charter said all people shall have the right to live where they choose, to be housed and to bring up their families in comfort and security. Yet sadly, the hopes inked in the Charter have not materialized for this dusty community southwest of Johannesburg. Zinc shacks, bumpy roads polluted by sewage, badly serviced communal toilets and water taps are part of life here a battleground of increasing housing protests. Residents recently vandalized part of the Walter Sisalu Square, demanding transparency in the allocation of houses. Protesters accused housing department officials of corruption and sidelining those who applied for houses in 1996. Partially blind Matsatsi Matgether, 65, is one of those who have lost faith in the system. They have forgotten about us. I applied for a house in 1996. All I have received are letters. I arrived in Clip Town in the late 70s. I have been living in this shack all these years, said the bedridden Matt Gether. She shares a single room with her daughter and five grandchildren. They survive on her pension and the grandchildren's grants. Rental flats have been built opposite the square but people cannot afford them. The majority of people in Clip Town are unemployed. How can they afford to live in these rental flats? said Pulani Madondo, co-founder of Clip Town Youth Program which feeds 460 children twice daily. Madondo believes the Clip Town challenges can be resolved through increased skills development and youth employment. Gauteng Human Settlements Department spokesman Keith Causer said 5,000 houses had been allocated in Clip Town. He said more than 600,000 RDP houses had been approved with 1996 applications prioritized.